So here, what they're going and they're asking is find the volume of the solid in the first octant where that solid is bound by this plane, x plus y plus z is one, and this plane, x plus y plus two z is one. Why don't we set up the triple integral for that? All right, um, what I first wanna do is I wanna graph. I wanna take a look at what the picture looks like of these guys. In your usual orientation, that this is x, this is y, and this is z. T he, we're drawing this plane. If x, y is zero, z is one. If x, z is zero, y is one. And if um, y, z is zero, x is one. So it looks like I'm gonna have that old familiar plane. One, one, one. Connect the dots, and you're done. So that's not a triangle, those are just its traces in the x, the y, and the z plane. Now if we're taking a look at a similar situation here, if x and y is zero, ho oh, oh, ho, z is a half, y is one, and x is one, so that'll be fun. x and y are one, and one, and z is half. That's that dot right there. So then this plane shares an edge up like that, Perhaps you want me to rotate that so we can get a better idea and feel about what this solid looks like. So if I want to turn that guy, sure. Where this is my Z, T he, T he. Looks like I'm at one and I'm at two. One and two. This goes down like that, like that, like that, and like that. What we have is a wedge, if you will. This is my Y, and this is my Z axis. Perhaps I could have put those in a different color. There, that's better. <clears throat> All right, so we're looking at that green wedge. What this does for us is this tells us which directions we're going to be um, integrating with respect to. Here I'm looking for the only region that's going to be simple. X, z, X, z is not going to be simple because we'd have to integrate between these two. Same with y, z. The only one that's going to be simple is the projection in the x, y plane. So if I'm setting up my integral, setting up my triple integral, my pick a domain direction is going to be my x, y plane, d, x, d, y, or d, y, d, x is gonna be fine. If we take a look at that guy, a projection of this guy in that plane over here, looks like x is one, y is one, and you're in the first octant. So that's this guy here, great. And that happens when z is zero. So the equation of this line is x plus y is one, fun. We're coming back to that. What we gotta first do is entertain what happens to us when we're integrating with respect to z. That region is not so simple. So if we're taking a look at this and we're integrating with respect to z, I have um, a lower and upper so how do I do this? It's the upper minus the lower. So this is going to be my upper limit and my lower limit. Sure, well, this is for any point in this plane. For any point in this plane, I'm going to be passing through two heights. Shbam, boom, oh, height one here on the bottom one and height two on the second one. So I need to get the equations of both of those. I see my top plane is this one right here. What do I want this plane in terms of? I want this plane as a two variable function, multivariate function in terms of x and y. So that's what I have to do right here. This is gonna be z is equal to one minus x minus y. Great. I wanna do the same type thing over here 
for my lower plane. I need to get z in terms of x and y. So my z is 1 half x over 2 minus y over 2, like that right there. That's my bottom plane. That's my upper plane from this graph. Great. So if we're looking for the volume over the solid, they didn't tell us the medium we're in. So this is going to be a 1. Great. My upper, this is 1 half minus x over 2 minus y over 2. And my lower, ha, would you look at that? Which one's the upper? This one's the upper. So it's going to look like that. And my lower, the one on bottom, is going to be 1 half minus x over 2 minus y over 2. All right. So let's go ahead and go through how we're going to set up these limits. These limits are our plane region that we're going to be integrating over. That's this region right here. My x, y plane. Looks like I'm picking to integrate in the x direction. That's this one. All right, so I need this line in terms of, so we're gonna get that line in terms of y. So here x is equal to one minus y, and that's when I'm integrating in that direction. So my lower limit is zero, and it's gonna go up to this line every time. So this is zero, and that's one minus y. Very nice. And then finally we see that y is gonna go from zero to, I believe that was, one, 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 one half. So I'm going to one, zero to one. And then what? You're done.